Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about Derek Brunson versus Darren Till. That's a great one. Let's not waste any time. Dive into this fight. Okay, so first starting with Darren the Gorilla Till. Darren Till is 28 years old right now. The man is approaching his prime. Six feet tall, 74 and a half inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 18 wins, three losses, one draw. Darren Till has an extensive striking Muay Thai background. High level striker, very dangerous on the feet. Aggressive fighter, looks for the finish. Strong hips. It looks like his takedown offense gets better and better every fight. Chopping kicks to the body. Great at timing guys when they rush in with that left straight. Great use of range. Till is capable of picking you apart when he takes his time. Mixes things up and controls the distance with his kicks and long range attacks. I feel like Darren Till is most effective just on the outside. In Till's last five fights, he has won two, but that lineup was Thompson, Woodley, Masvidal, Gastelum, Whitaker. Two champs and serious contenders. Basically, murderer's row. Moving on to Derek Brunson, 37 years old, 6 foot 1, 77 inch reach, mixed martial arts record, 22 wins, 7 losses. Brunson has a wrestling background, so takedowns are an option for him in fights with a high probability he lands them. Brunson for sure has KO power in his hands, but his striking isn't the most refined. He has been effective, however, even being not the most technical. Brunson is very heavy handed. He is good at cutting guys off standing and catching them with these wide hooks when they try to escape his pressure laterally. He likes to hurt guys against the cage where the only way out is not backwards. It's either left or right, and that's where he catches them with that tricky hook. He has a nasty lunging left straight, rushes you and finds your chin with it. Good killer instinct from Brunson when he smells blood or he has you hurt. He is on you till you are finished. I think Brunson has matured as a fighter and has serious vet experience. He's fought some big names. You can see he fights smarter, does what he needs to do to win. Specifically saw that in the Holland fight. Currently Brunson's on a four fight win streak. Good resurgence from Derek Brunson resurrected his career. All right, guys, so the matchup, how could this fight possibly play out and what do these guys need to do to win? Well, first of all, this is a Southpaw fight. Pretty cool. So their strengths when fighting Orthodox guys is going to be kind of negated, but Till can switch stances. So he has options there. I think on the feet, if it stays standing, no brainer here. Darren Till should have the advantage. He's the more experienced striker. I think he's the more refined, more technical striker. Derek Brunson, if he gets the fight to the mat, I do think he can control Till, maintain top position, land nasty elbows, land ground a pound. And if he can keep that up for the fight, he will win a dominant decision. But here's the thing. Can he get Darren Till to the mat? Darren Till has some really good hips. He's a strong guy. And when he fights long, uses those long range attacks, his legs in his straights like javelins. It's kind of hard to get in on Till. He's a master at catching guys when you rush him. And Derek Brunson is not the most graceful fighter. He kind of forces takedowns, dives in, and I think he's a little bit vulnerable to knees and counters when he forces those takedowns or when he blitzes you striking. His defense is a little bit lacking. So I definitely could see Till cracking Derek Brunson with a left straight when he rushes in on him. But Brunson's not to be underestimated. That guy's a crafty vet finds a way to win, keeps coming at you, so he definitely could win this fight. I'm a little torn on this matchup, guys. Darren Till is a good fighter, but he's been on a slump. Derek Brunson has been on a roll, has the momentum right now. This is almost a striker versus grappler match, but Brunson is capable on the feet. Till could win this, but it depends on which Darren Till shows up. Is he going to be confident? Is he going to have that killer instinct? Is he going to fight smart? This one's kind of cut and dry for me, for the most part. If Till keeps it standing, he wins. If Brunson gets the fight to the mat, I think he wins. Close fight, close fight. Anything could happen, but considering Darren Till's slump, the style matchup, Derek Brunson's momentum, I think I'm going to lean towards Derek Brunson 55-45. I think he can win a decision against Darren Till if he can force grappling in this fight, implement his wrestling, and get the fight to the mat. 
but it would not shock me one bit if Darren Till stops Derek Brunson with strikes on the feet. That guy's dangerous. So final pick, close one again, 55-45, Derek Brunson. But you guys let me know in the comment section, who do you think takes this fight? If you ask me tomorrow, I might have picked Till. Tough one to call, guys. Let me know what you think. We'd love to read your thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. If this is your first time at the channel and you enjoyed this segment, consider hitting that sub button. Like and share as it helps the channel grow. Appreciate it, guys. You're the best. And until the next one, take care. Enjoy this fight.